Today I'm reviewing a 4-port USB wall charger by LumSing. This is a 4.2 amp max wall charger. And when it comes to chargers, not all wall chargers are created equal. You want to make sure you either go with a trusted brand, uh, go with one that has good reviews that people have tested, or go out and buy some testers yourself. I have put this one to the test with multiple multiple testers and constant current load centers, and uh, it does pass the test. So if you want to buy that, check the link in the video description below. Let's take a quick look at the user manual. Pretty simple, but there's not much to it. It does have a built-in over and under voltage and uh, you know, it says it automatically senses how much power your device needs and adjust accordingly, but uh, that's true for any charger. A uh, device will only take as much power as it wants. But the important part is having over and under voltage protection, and this does. And it says it has a built-in heat sink to help dissipate heat and mitigate any heat damage, damage which is good. Looking at the charger itself, it uh, had a, like a, a nice texture to it. Those little black dots are actually like a, a texture on the surface, and I, I like the way it feels. It feels good. You know, most things just have like a shiny plastic texture to it. Uh, that's actually a, a nice texture. I like the way it feels. So let's go ahead and plug it in and put it to the test here. What I've got here is a uh, USB power monitor with a constant current uh, load resistor. I've got it set to 2 amps right now, um, but I could set it all the way up to 2.4 amps. What it'll do is it'll put a constant load current on, on the device. And uh, I have set it at 2.43 and run it uh, with uh, two other devices for over an hour, and it, it worked just fine. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And we'll change our camera settings here. So right now we're at 5.02 volts, 5.03, and 2 amps, 2.01 amps. All right, so it'll it'll hold that you know indefinitely. And uh, the charger itself barely got warm when I ran it at full amps, and uh, of course the load resistor got kind of warm. All right, let's plug in this other one too. See if we can watch them both at the same time here. So that one's showing 5.07 volts and 0.86 amps. And uh, the other one's showing 5.03 volts and 2.01 amps. So this is actually charging a uh, battery bank. I'm actually reviewing that battery bank here in the next video. Um, let's go ahead and plug in a third device. Let's go ahead and plug in this uh, solar battery, battery bank that I just reviewed. So last time I checked this, I think it was pulling over an amp easy on that charging side. And between the two amps there and the 0.87 amps there, we're at you know 2.87 plus another like, let's say, just say an amp, so that's uh, basically 3.87 amps. Um, if I had a fourth device on my desk to plug in, I would go ahead and plug that in. Um, but uh, I have done this test before, so I'm, I'm perfectly confident in it. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you some of the testing process that I go through here. So it works pretty well um, in every way that I have tested it. I would go ahead and recommend it. I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a five out of five because I could not find anything wrong with it. It's a perfectly adequate device, and I think it'll do the job just fine. So make sure you uh, use the link down in the video description. Um, if you're watching on Amazon, hit the yes for found this review helpful. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel.